Good morning and welcome back to Curiosity Forge. Today is going to be a good day for me. This video is going to be covering building out my portable shop AC unit. Um, I'm going to turn the camera around. I apologize for how sketchy it's going to be for a second just so I can show you what all's going into this. Okay, so I bought this cooler for 25 bucks. It was on sale. Um, this uh, fan that's supposed to turbocharge uh, ducts uh, is more than powerful enough to do what I need it to, and that cost, uh, I believe, 20 bucks. Um, this 4 inch flexible ducting, it cost, uh, I think, around 6 or 8 bucks. Um, and then I have a $10 can of foam sealant. And uh, the build total for this um, was the build total was right at sixty-five dollars for buying everything new. Um, these same coolers and coolers about this size uh, at Target of all places were the cheapest ones I've seen, not being on sale. Um, they hover right around twenty to thirty bucks, depending on what you buy. Um, you're going to want a larger cooler because the bigger your cooler is, the more uh, ice you can put in here. Uh, what I'm going to put in here is I have frozen um, a couple of really durable one-gallon jugs of water. I have filled a bunch of uh, smaller containers with water, some uh, gold leaf or gold peak tea bottles, the big ones. And I've got a bunch of small ice packs in the freezer upstairs. And they're going to go in here. The fan is going to push the air down through the ice and then up out of the duct. And I'm hoping that this duct being smaller than the fan means it will help build up a little bit of pressure so that when it comes out, it'll be a little bit faster moving. Um, and it should be very, very cold coming out of there. And since it's in a cooler, stay cold. Um, I was putting a gallon of, of, uh, a gallon of ice in front of my fan for the last uh, few days here because I figured out that works a lot better than I thought it would. I didn't do that earlier because I thought it wasn't going to do a whole lot. Um, but it really lowers the temperature of the air coming out of the fan. If you can freeze two or three gallons of water and put them in front of a fan, in front of a fan one at a time, you can make your life a lot more pleasant in the shop without spending much money at all. Um, the problem with that is the, uh, the ice melts really fast. You know, I've seen gallons of water take all day to thaw out, but you put it in front of the fan like that, and it's going to be gone in three, three and a half hours, which uh, it, it's a huge help for something that simple to make and cost next to nothing to build. If your budget's really, really tight, do that. You know, do yourself a favor. Um, and I'm pretty sure that most of you have a large cooler floating around the house you can sacrifice. Um, I'm not a very social animal. Um... I don't go out where crowds of people are very often for a myriad of reasons. And uh, the areas when I do when I do go into situations where there are a lot of people, everybody else has coolers and stuff like that. I don't. I just bring something and throw it in one of them, or I don't worry about it, and I throw some money at somebody to cover whatever I used up that at that point. I also don't drink, so there's no reason for me to really be worried about bringing a cooler anywhere. Um, Non-alcoholic beverages aren't difficult to come by. Um, so, if you have, say, some expanding foam in your shop and a cooler, um, and you can get a different kind of small fan, you can look online and find a lot of pictures of how people do it. Um, you know, if you have a, a different small fan you want to put in there, that will cut the cost down, and you may be left with nothing more than having to buy some flexible ducting. That's going to stretch out and allow me to point it wherever I want. It's not going to be fixed at coming out in one spot and nowhere else. So uh, that should make it a lot better. I can put it either right behind me, aimed right at center mass when I'm on the forge, or I can back it off a little bit and uh, get a more general spread. And, uh, you know, if, if the pressure is too low, I can always take some tape and close up the mouth a little bit to build pressure up. Um, so... In a, in a second here, I'm going to start on this build. This is going to be a bit of a longer video. I apologize, but I want to cover all the steps that go into this. It's a simple build, um, but with the Forging It Forward guys, we've been talking back and forth across the group about how to build something to cool the shops down with. 
And uh, that prompted me to remember that this was a thing and to look into how to do it. And uh, it's gotten me here. So uh, hopefully by sharing this, somebody else will realize it's a pretty easy thing to build and it can save you so much misery. You know, the, the more cooled off you are in the forge and the more you can regulate the temperature around you, the longer you can work, the more comfortably you can work, and the more safely you can work. Um, and I have a special present for the lovely Miss Penny um, a after this morning's discussion. Fart. Fart. Fart, 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 fart! There you go. I hope you appreciated that little nod. Um, and I'm still waiting to see your next video come out. I don't think I've seen one since you did the, the leaf, which was very nice. Um, I, I hope your transportation issues are resolved and you can get back to your shop soon. Okay, so I'm going to stop this and I'm going to have to like chop it up into small pieces because I don't know if all this at once is going to be too much to export. So uh, I'll stop this here, get everything set up and, uh, and aimed at the cooler, and we will start. Okay, so I am set up, and uh, we have got you a pretty decent field of view on the cooler. So, first things first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my fan here, and there's an arrow right here for which direction the fan goes, which helps me out for uh, this build. I'm going to set it right here and draw a circle around it and then cut just inside the circle and file it to be a tight fit for this so that I can get it in there and have it stay in place. Um, I may make it a little tight and try to crimp this in some so that it pops down in there and doesn't uh, fall out. I don't want it sliding down in there any farther either. Um, that's one of the jobs I'm assigning the spray foam is to help lock this in place on both sides. It might work. If it doesn't, Plan B is going to be to just run some uh, wood screws through here and let them sit on top of the cooler. And that will hold it in place. I just don't want to do that if I don't have to. I made a circle. I'll also put my uh, flexible ducting about where I want it. Um, and I want it as far forward as I can get it so that it uh, has the most ice to pass through before it comes out. And I will, I will add the caveat that I have no clue how well this is going to perform yet. I'm kind of going at this uh, with uh, no experience in doing one of these before. So my next stop is to get a cord real quick and drill holes in each of these circles. And not trip over the wire that's keeping the phone charged. Yeah, we're still there. You can see the two circles I drew. apologize for that my shop is a huge mess right now I brought in a new drill press um, a welder uh, a table a file cabinet and I got a bunch of boxes from stuff I ordered recently piled up and my next job after I finish this is to clean everything up and get it organized And I made sure I've got a fairly large drill bit in here so I can make clearance for the, uh, the jigsaw in a second.
Okay, so I've got a jigsaw and I checked to make sure the blade on it is sharp before I brought it out here. Making sure to get my cord out of the way. Figured that might be a problem right here, but what a difficult solution to find. Okay, so I need to make a little extra room. I'm sure somebody else that's better than this will have an easier time making it fit than I am right now. But this is why I'm taking this in small chunks, because you can't put the material back. You can always cut more of it away. Okay, we're seated. I'm going to pull it back out and cut a little bit more from the inner side of the lid because I'm kind of closing this thing off about a third of the way. And then we'll move on to the fan hole. <laughs> I said fan hole.
think that'll do. Next. I know that can't sound good coming out of your phone. And I know this ain't gonna quite be the fit that I want, but it lets me shave to where I wanna get slowly. That's a very secure fit. I'm happy with it. Um, let me stop this and I'll come back with uh, ice and uh, we'll test it out before I seal it up. Okay, here comes the moment of truth. We're gonna open up. One gallon of ice. Another gallon of ice. Gold Peak Tea Container. Gold Peak Tea, tea Container. Another small bottle of tea pack. Ice Pack. Ice Pack. Lieutenant Dan, Ice Pack. Ice Pack. Hopefully this works as well as I think it will. She's definitely pushing some cold air out. I can feel it back here, like it's it's cold. Um, let's see what happens if I close this up a little bit. The air is a lot colder, but the pressure is not super high. What I meant when I said I could close the mouth of this thing up, if it lowers the pressure too much. So if you're doing this on your own, you probably want to get probably want to get a good bit smaller size duct. Um, I can just tape this up so the air coming out has to slow down a little bit and make it a lot colder. Okay, so this works. I'm getting pretty cold air coming out of this. Um, I'm going to have to make some adjustments to really get it dialed in and perfect. But this will be a pretty big help. I just have to stay fairly close to it right now until I get everything tuned up. But like from right here, you get quite a bit of cold air and it 
especially if you keep it right here on your lower back where there are a bunch of blood vessels are, you'll stay a lot cooler. Like I can keep this right here on a wide open while I'm at the forge and be oh, pretty okay. But uh, yeah, so let me pause this and I'll circle around and get back with y'all. And uh, I'll turn this back towards where I'm sitting. Ha! Oh yeah, it's moving the tag on the chair over there. Okay, so there was that bill. Um, I've got to make some adjustments. I need to close the top of the fan up a little bit with some blue painter's tape and get the balance between the fan and the ducting right and I'll get colder air coming out faster. Um, I could also use even more ice and ice packs in there and I'm tempted to dump a bucket of water in there just to see what happens. Um, help take some of that space up. But uh, yeah, so uh, a little bit more work to do on this but uh, like I said, once it's dialed in right, it's going to be a huge help. Um, so uh, I guess until next time, praise the forge and pass the borax. Y'all stay safe. See ya.